friends, Irene the Coco Queen here and today, oh my god, we are going to be making the most delicious raw vegan cupcakes, okay? Guys, these are vegan, like who wants to eat animal products in their sweets? Like, I don't know, that's just gross. Sorry, but it is, okay. And it's gluten-free, it's super healthy, we're using almond flour, we're using dates, we're using mulberries, dried mulberries, we're using oat flour agave nectar and everything under the sun that is super healthy and delicious. So this is a great uh, alternative for kids. Um, if you don't want to be feeding your kids refined sugar, this is refined sugar free and it's gluten free and it's everything free. So let's get started. So all you're going to need for this recipe is a food processor. So get out your food processor and grab about a cup of dried mulberries. You're going to put those in. Honestly, this is the quickest cupcake recipe ever, like known to man. And then you're gonna put in your dates, pitted medjool dates, about six dates, six or seven, and one and a half cups of almond flour. I love almond flour. It's just, it's just so good. It's just so good. So we're gonna put that in as well. Oops. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in a half cup of oat flour. So you can put in the oat flour, like so. Of all these bowls. <laughs> and now we're gonna put in a splashy splash of vanilla extract. Oh yeah. You might want to put in like a good tablespoon of vanilla extract in there because the vanilla flavor really brings out the, that almond flavor of, in the almond flour and it just makes everything taste amazing. And then we're gonna add in about three tablespoons of agave nectar. Okay, and now all you have to do is process all these ingredients up until it's nice and well combined. And then we're gonna fill our muffin, or should I say cupcake liners. But I need the lid first. So once you have processed all your ingredients in the food processor for a couple minutes, you're gonna have this amazing soft dough. So this is gonna be our cupcake mix. And we're just going to fill our cupcake liners with this amazing mixture. So what you're going to do is fill your cupcake liners to the top and then just press the mixture down so that it will all stick together. Like so. This will make about six cupcakes. So now it's time to make our cashew nut cream frosting. Again, this is raw, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, it's refined sugar-free. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is set aside our cupcakes. You can put them in the fridge if you like. And we're gonna to add to our blender two cups of soaked cashews. You guys wanna soak your cashews overnight so that they're nice and soft, especially if you don't have a Vitamix, uh, so that it'll help the, the blender kind of move things along. So let's do that. All right, now we're gonna add in a cup of oh, delicious coconut water. Love this stuff. Just put that in. A splash of vanilla. Okay, a little more than a splash. I'm obsessed. Okay, I gotta get a new one. It's just, it's empty now, unfortunately. And about three tablespoons of agave nectar. Let's just put that in. Use my finger. Oh, cross your fingers. Now we're gonna put the lid and we are going to process this until it's creamy. So our cashew nut frosting is nice and creamy. So we're gonna pour it into our little bowl. And now we're gonna add in about two heaping tablespoons of beet powder. Guys, you can use any kind of powder you want. Like if you have strawberry powder, you can use that. If you want your frosting to be green, you can use spirulina if you like the taste, uh, or matcha green tea powder, anything that you want. But I love beets, so. So wow, this is looking amazing. I'm just mixing in the beet powder into the um, cashew nut cream frosting. And then I'm just gonna put it in the fridge to firm up a little before piping. 
So make sure that the powder that you're using isn't lumpy. You wanna get all the lumps in the powder before adding it to your cashew nut cream. Otherwise you're gonna get lumps in it, in your frosting. And who wants lumps in their frosting, right? So we are just giving it a little stir and then we're gonna put this in the fridge so that it can firm up and then we're gonna get ready to pipe it. Okay everybody, so our beet frosting is in the freezer chilling out for a few minutes until it firms up. In the meantime, we're gonna make a second flavor, mango. So what we did is we used half the cashew nut frosting recipe for the beet flavor and now we're gonna use the other half of the recipe for the mango flavor. So we're gonna put in two to three tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of mango powder. Okay everybody, so I'm about to add in some spirulina powder into my mango cashew nut frosting. Um, I love this combination. You probably think it's gross, but you guys should give it a try. It's really delicious. So I'm gonna mix this up, put it in the freezer, and I'll see you guys in a little. So I'm putting my beet frosting into the piping bag. I'm gonna try and do this as neatly as possible. Make sure you give a lot of time for your beet frosting to firm up in the freezer before piping. And remember, these are best eaten right away, like once the frosting is nice and, uh, and firm so that you can go ahead and pipe it. You should eat them right after that. So here it goes. Guys, look how freaking amazing this is. Oh my gosh. Yes. So how delicious do these raw vegan cupcakes look? They taste amazing. For those of you that aren't eating raw foods, I get it, I understand. Uh, raw desserts can be a little intimidating, but please give it a try. And also if you have children, this is an amazing alternative for your kids. Um, honestly, they're gonna be so happy they're eating this beautiful, sweet, and yummy, yummy cupcake. And they're not even gonna know that uh, they're gonna be consuming also calcium from the almond flour, protein from the, from the oat flour, um, iron from the dates, um, and so much nutritional value from this dessert. So yeah, feed your kids, you know, happy, nutritious food. Uh, animal free food of course um, so give this uh, give this recipe a try guys and if you do please let me know leave a comment down below I want to hear from you I want to know what you think and we'll see you on Saturday for our next video thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't done so already subscribe and if you like the video hit that like button thank you so much guys see you on Saturday